Good evening. It is August 27th, 2021. My name is Deb. I'm coming to you live from my home in Athens, Ohio. I'm actually sitting on my floor so that you can get a good view of the mural that I painted that I've been wanting to kind of share and show off to the world because I am very proud of it. Um, I've been told my whole life, ever since I was able to pick up a crayon, that I was a great artist. My mom and dad told me they praised me Kids in school praised me, asked me to draw, hey, draw this for me, and I became known as the artist. And um, I was quickly also told that there was no money in it. Um, and, you know, but I never thought about having a career. My main goal in life was to be a mother, and I succeeded in doing that. I have two wonderful children who have left the nest, so I am now in the empty nester phase, and I'm in a position now where I feel like it's time to start a career. And, you know, I've been told, like I said, you know, you're artistic, that's number one, creative, number two, spiritual, number three. Um, I've, along with drawing and painting, um, I've used my art talent to um, decorate cakes. I've been um, known around this town for my specialty cakes and desserts. Deb's Desserts is my actual business name. And I do have a licensed kitchen here so that I can actually bake, but as talented a, as I've been told that I am and as passionate and creative as I know that I am, um, my biggest stumbling block has always been the, the financial, the charging money. And I know that stems from growing up poor. And also, I feel like my father had almost like a sense of it was better to, I, I learned, not just from my father, but in general, I felt like I learned that it was almost seen as a badge of honor to be, to be not rich. Like I saw people with money as being um, conceited and arrogant and unevil even to the point of like, I didn't want money. I rejected money and um, purposely kind of lived be below the poverty line for my entire adult life, you know, and I'm in a position now to where um, I have I can pay my bills on just two days a week from my waitressing job, which I've, I've been a waitress for 17 years now. And so I've learned how to serve and I've overcome a lot of my self-confidence blocks by being a waitress because I'm constantly having to meet new people and I found that I genuinely enjoy it. Even though, you know, I, I've, ever since I was young, I've always, been fascinated by people and that led to um, st my studying uh, psychology which I thought possibly I might want to be a therapist but I was always told you know you have to go to school for seven years and my main goal in life was like I said to be a mother so I really didn't even think about a career until the last several years when my sons left home and I'm like hmm what do I want to do you know, and um, my love of studying the human mind, you know, a psychology led to astrology, which I've been a long time student of astrology for, well, at least since I was, I started seriously studying it in the early 90s. I learned how to cast birth charts by hand. Like I actually calculated all the numbers and drew the, the aspects. And, you know, nowadays you just plug in that information and the there's, you know, a hundred different sites that can just tell you that in, in, two, in just a minute, you know, when it would take me hours. But the interpretation and the, the diving deep into the psychology of it, um, I really loved. I loved learning about people's secrets and, you know, what was behind their, what was behind the, the, sh the drawn shades. Like, I wanted to know their secrets. Um, what I've recently, most recently done is completed um, Marissa Peer's RTT training, which is a form of hypnotherapy that she, that she's kind of hybridized in her own way over the last 33 years as a therapist. And she was voted best therapist in all of Britain. I absolutely was drawn to her like a, like a magnet. I found her on YouTube during the, um, shutdown when, when I was, um, when the, the restaurant shut down, I was out of work from, um, the COVID. And I really truly believe that my job was going to be gone. Like I really believe that with the way things are going all online, like nobody wants it. Nobody's going to need a waitress, you know, like I really felt like my job was going the way of the dinosaur and that, um, I would just be hanging up my apron for good. But, um, if, if anything, the, 
business is booming. I'm actually making way more money as a waitress than I ever did before. But I've also been able to um, get to a position now where I feel safe enough that I can devote the time and energy required to really do what I want to do outside of, you know, I want to be my own boss, even though the, the thought has always terrified me, you know, like, well, I don't know how to do that and this and that. But, um, I'm so happy that Victor Odo shared that he had five channels when he started, because I kind of feel like that. I have so many varied interests. You know, I'm a hypnotherapist. I'm a baker. I'm an artist. I'm, I'm, I can't call myself an astrologer, but people know, people are, know me for that too. So like I have all these different interests and, and I just, I just keep hearing the message, just be Deb, you know, just be you. People like your bubbly people call me um, that say that I remind them of a mother. And I love that. Even my, my murals, and I have several in my home, but I'll show you this one today. It's the mother lion and her baby at the watering hole. And she, look how closely she's guarding her cub. And I really admire, admire, you know, I admire that, the lioness. And I uh, just wanted to share that with you all. And um, I think what I truly want to do is the RTT. I, I do want to focus on being a hypnotherapist predominantly, but I also want to continue with my art. Um, I've been getting all these ideas since I've gotten back from my uh, spiritual retreat in Sedona with uh, Victor Odo and his wife Patty. Um, it's like my creative energy has just been on hyperdrive since I've gotten home. I've done um, several things, you know, baking and drawing and painting and, and you know, so many different interests. So I'm really happy to be doing this challenge and I hope I got all the bases covered in this work. I guess my, my reason why I want to do this is because I know it's my time and I know that um, I do believe that I'll be able to help a lot of people but I also know that it'll be my best self. And a quote that I heard years ago was, no one will be more sorry than you if you don't get what you want out of life. And that's so true. You know, I feel like I've lived so much of my life for others, for my husband, for my children, for my brothers and sisters, for my friends. Um, even as a waitress, you know, your needs before mine, you know. So I've always uh, lived life putting others first. And, and now I feel like I really am truly ready to be um, putting myself first, but still being able to give even more than I ever have before, because I'll have more to give <laughs> kind of like the well that's, you know, if it only gives and isn't refilled, then eventually it can't give water anymore. So I've been really blessed to be able to have this much time for self-development and, um, the, the things that I learned in RTT have helped myself a lot. I mean, I feel like it helped me overcome my fear of driving. Um, I've lost over 20 pounds through hypnosis. So I know that, you know, being a walking testament, walking testimony is the best way to be. So I think I've talked way longer than I was supposed to, but I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. Thank you for listening. And I hope to talk to you all again soon.